Hi, this is Michael Lepage of CPM Solutions, and I want to welcome you to another video tutorial on Primavera P6. Today we're going to talk about a nice little feature to help you work with activities and activity data in Primavera P6. Now, when we're working with activities, we're in our activities window here, and you can see I've got a project plan laid out here. Now, this activities uh, window here it's got these columns of data and you know sometimes when I'm in a training course I actually refer to this as my spreadsheet view because it is kind of a columnar looks like an Excel spreadsheet kind of system now obviously working in Excel uh, there's some easy ways to copy data around in Excel but things are not as intuitive in Primavera as in Excel however there are some neat features to help you copy pieces of data and fields around and I want to talk to you today about a feature called fill down. When you're building a project plan, often you want certain fields to have the same value across activities. Now, a great example of this is the activity calendar field that's here on the general tab for each activity. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the fill down function to copy the activity calendar uh, field, the value of that field across multiple activities. Now, the only way to do that is to actually display the calendar column here on in the spreadsheet part of the window. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do that. So here you can see in my layout here, I've displaying the calendar field. Now, let's say there's a section of your project that is using a different calendar rather than the 8x5 work week. Let's go in here and pick 8 by 6 day work week. Okay, so 8 hours a day, 6 days a week. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to copy that calendar down to a bunch of the activities just underneath here. So what I can do is I can hold down the Shift key, highlight those activities. Now, one thing you want to notice here is that the little highlight around the last activity I've got selected here. See there's a little kind of halo around the last field. When you're selecting the activities, you've got to make sure that that halo is in the field that you want to fill down and you want to copy the values down. Okay, So the procedure here is to change the first activity, hold down shift, select the activities that you'd like that value to end up in, and then you can go to your edit menu here and you can go down and choose fill down. Okay. So what we've done is we've copied that 8 by 6 day work week to the fields um, for the activities just underneath. Now, <clears throat> there are other things, uh, other procedures that you can do here. Let's try a different thing. Let's pick a different calendar, say perhaps a 13 hour per day calendar. Okay. Now rather than holding shift, you can also use the combination of control here. So if I hold down control on my keyboard, and I pick activities that I would like to have that 13 hour per day. I can also do a right click here and um, choose fill down from my right click menu. And that value gets copied down. Okay. Sorry. So that's more or less how you can use the fill down feature. You can use it on almost any field in um, any column here that you can display, with some exceptions. I mean, it doesn't work in the activity ID field. If you wanted all your activities to have the same name, you could use the fill down function to copy the value down across all activities. But you know what? It's also a really handy tool to actually empty out fields. So here you can see I've got an activity code field here called phase. And I've got, in some activities, I've got an activity code assigned. You can also use the fill down to actually empty out those fields. So again, I just highlight the field that I want to copy, which is actually an empty field. And I can go down here and highlight a bunch of activities. And again, make sure my halo here is in that phase column. Do a right click and do fill down. And it quickly empties out all those fields. This fill down function works not only in your activities window, but it also works in your projects window over here. So if you wanted to add some columns in the projects window, I don't have any displayed here, but if you wanted to add some and copy them down, it works equally as well in the projects window. 
and in other places when you have column like data in here. So that's filled down. Hopefully that's a helpful tip for you today. I'm Michael Lacage. Thank you for uh, checking out our video tutorials here at CPM Solutions. Have a great day.